Welcome back to CDC Growthonomics. Today, we are going to continue our MythBuster series and we'll talk about one specific topic, MLAI is the future of problem solving. Is it? Now, who doesn't love MLAI, right? It's the best thing since sliced bread. It is used to solve the world's problem. But is it the tool for the future? Is it the only tool for the future? The answer is no. So like we talked about one of the other series, one of the prior times, MLAI, we've talked about before, these advanced methodologies only solve 5 to 10% of the business problems today. 90% of the business problems or more of the business problems are still solved using simple techniques. And we had talked about last time, some of the simple techniques, aggregate analysis, um, not last time, but one of the times before, aggregate analysis, correlation, we talked about trend analysis, we talked about sizing, basically simple analysis. But what you can't forego, whether you use simple techniques or you use something complex, what you can't forego is fundamental problem solving skills. When we think about problem solving, what is an effective problem solving? Effective problem solving is when you take a big problem and you break it into smaller pieces, you identify clearly what the problem is and you list down and you figure out what those possible causes are. And then you figure out a solution, set of solutions. Then you also figure out your plan Bs and you figure out your stakeholders. There is a whole bunch of decision science and other aspect that happens within problem solving, critical thinking at its, at its best. And, and we have a framework which we use for problem solving in the context of this analytics world. It starts with business question, laying out analysis plan, collecting only relevant data, deriving insights using frameworks and recipe and making recommendations. So this is a, essentially, and it has data science track as well as decision science track, where you're talking about stakeholders, timeline, management, prioritization. You know, prioritization is another key skill, like, you know, which one is, which one is higher problem, right? So that, that all of that is critical component of Badr. So Badr is one such problem solving tool we use for solving complex problems. But if you see in this whole Badr, the way, the insights, the way you are solving your problem, it's agnostic. So problem solving is agnostic of really the toolkit you're using. And 90% of the problems you're going to solve using simple logic and simple techniques, not ML and not AI. So while the lure of AI and uh, ML is huge, I agree. Do not use that as a fallback mechanism, you know, getting, investing in tools, AI tools, and expecting it to solve your problem, investing in uh, people with those skills and thinking they are gonna solve your problem. 90% of your problems is still gonna be solved using simple techniques. The key skill here is problem solving. It's a structured way of breaking, picking big problems into smaller problems and systematically identifying the causes and solutions and plan Bs and prioritization, you know it all. So that was the bit that I busted today. Hopefully uh, you found this useful. See you next time.